Welcome to another Tech Tip video, where today I'm going to look at customizing the shortcut menu, or S key as it's referred to inside of SolidWorks. If you're unfamiliar with a shortcut menu, it's accessed by pressing the S key on your keyboard. This shortcut toolbar provides quick access to many of the commonly used tools inside of SolidWorks. For example, maybe I want to quickly access my measure command while working inside of an assembly. This is a lot faster than trying to find the tool in a toolbar or the command manager, but you may not have known it's very easy to customize. Let's go ahead and open up a part and see what I mean. The first thing that I want to show regarding the shortcut menu, again accessed by pressing the S key, is when you activate it, it actually does two things. First, it shows you the shortcut menu for that design environment, and by that I mean sketches, parts, assemblies, and drawings but it's also activated command search in the upper right hand corner, one of my favorite tools in SolidWorks that I mention in many of my blog posts. With command search activated, by simply pressing the S key, you can actually just start typing the name of any command in the software and you'll be presented with a list. Then you simply press enter and you can quickly start using that tool. So in this case, maybe I want to use the move face tool to adjust the length of this, you can see it was very quick and easy for me to press the S key, type in the name of the command, and use it. This way, if a command's not on your toolbar, you can always get to it quickly. What I'd like to show, though, is how we can further customize the shortcut menu to include the tools we want. In this case, you can see it's got some very basic commands, like my sketch tools, uh, extrusions, cuts, fillets, patterns, reference geometry, and hole wizard. Well, I frequently like to work with surfacing, weld mitt, and sheet metal tools as well, and I would like to add some of those tools to this pop-up menu. To do this, all you need to do is activate the shortcut menu by pressing the S key on your keyboard, right mouse clicking, and choosing Customize. Once in the Customize menu, you'll notice that you can actually toggle between the shortcut menu for Parts, Assemblies, Drawings, and Sketches. In this case, we want to customize the shortcut menu for the part environment. To the left of this shortcut menu preview, you can choose from a pull down from all the toolbars available inside of SolidWorks. So I mentioned I might want to add some surfacing tools. Well, all you need to do is select surfaces and then drag what commands you would like onto this menu. Now, in this case, I actually want all of my surfacing tools available right from the shortcut bar, but that's going to take up a lot of space and time dragging these one at a time over to the shortcut menu. So I'm going to remove those and show you a much more efficient way to do this. From the same pull down we selected previously, you'll notice at the very top is a set of tool buttons called flyout toolbars. These flyout toolbars actually represent flyouts that contain a series of tools on them. And within here, we can access surfacing tools, sheet metal tools, and as I mentioned before, I would like to also include weldment tools. You can also resize the shape of the shortcut toolbar here as well. I'm going to go ahead and press OK, and now you'll notice that my shortcut menu includes flyouts for all my surfacing tools, sheet metal tools, and weldment tools whenever I press the S key inside of my part environment. This is really convenient, but if I look at my surfacing flyout, you'll notice it contains just some of the tools. I might want to customize this and add some more buttons to this flyout. Well, this is done by accessing the standard or traditional toolbar that's used to define the surfacing toolbar. Let me explain. Whenever you right mouse click on any toolbar inside of SolidWorks, including the command manager, you're presented with a list of all the toolbars available in the software. One of these happens to be the surfaces toolbar that the flyout represents. Now if you want to add a button or a command to this toolbar, we can actually quickly do this by going back up to command search, and you'll notice that move is still in my search criteria, so I'm just going to press the search button, and move face is right there. All you have to do is drag this icon onto that toolbar. Likewise, I noticed that the Move Copy Bodies button wasn't there, so I'm going to add this one as well. 
Uh, once you're done, you can actually go ahead and simply close this toolbar. And now when you return to the shortcut menu and access the surfaces flyout, you'll notice that both uh, move copy bodies and move face are there. This made it really quick and easy for us to quickly add a command to our flyout toolbar so we can access it whenever we want. The shortcut toolbar is a great tool to use inside of SolidWorks and try to customize it to your liking inside of any of the environments.